Monday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time, 25th of October 2021. First reading, reading from the Book of Romans. My brothers, there is no necessity for us to obey our unspiritual selves or to live unspiritual lives, but if you do live in that way, you are doomed to die. But if by the Spirit you put an end to the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a son of God. The Spirit you received is not the Spirit of slaves bringing fear into your lives again. It is the Spirit of sons, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself and our spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his suffering so as to share his glory. Responsorial Psalm This God of ours is a God who saves. Let God arise, let his foes be scattered, let those who hate him flee before him. But the just shall rejoice at the presence of God, they shall exult and dance for joy. This God of ours is a God who saves. Father of orphan, defender of the widow, such as God in his holy place, God gives the lonely a home to live in, he leads the prisoners forth into freedom. This God of ours is a God who saves. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens. God our Saviour. This God of ours is a God who saves. The Lord our God holds the keys of death. This God of ours is a God who saves. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. One Sabbath day, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues. And a woman was there, who for eighteen years had been possessed by a spirit that left her enfeebled. She was bent double and quite unable to stand upright. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are rid of your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and at once she straightened up and she glorified God. The synagogue official was indigent because Jesus had healed on Sabbath, And he addressed the people present. There are six days, he said when work is to be done. Come and be healed on one of those days, and not on the Sabbath. But the Lord answered him, Hypocrites, he said, Is there one of you who does not untie his ox or his donkey from the manger on Sabbath, and take it out for watering? And this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has held bound these eighteen years, was it not right to untie her bonds on the Sabbath day? When he said this, all his adversaries were covered with confusion, and all the people were overjoyed at all the wonders he worked. Gospel of the Lord.